Hi, my name is Nadine from the channel Aligningness. Today, I am reading to you from Emmett Fox's book, Around the Year, for June 21st, entitled, Life After Death. Perhaps the most startling change that the discarnate has to meet is the fact that thought is the normal means of communication, and therefore there is no deception. You pass for what you are, and that is the end of matter. What is it that determines the kind of place to which you will go after death, and the sort of people among whom you will find yourself? You will go to the sort of place and be among the sort of people for whom you have prepared yourself by your habitual thinking and your mode of living while on this earth. Remember that death makes positively no change in you. You are just the same person that you were before it happened. And no one sends you anywhere you naturally gravitate to the place where you belong. You do not meet God on the next plane any more than you do on this plane. Of course, he is fully present on the next plane just as he is on this plane. But there, as here, he is to be contacted only in one's own consciousness. Heaven is that perfect state of consciousness in which one is in full realization of the divine presence. If you can reach to that level of consciousness while still in this world, and if you have succeeded in doing so, you are in heaven now, and your awareness of God will be intensified after death. However, there are some very unpleasant localities in the next world, and people whose minds are chiefly given up to the hatred, deceit, or sensuality will find themselves in such places. These are the places referred to as hell. Consider the man or woman who lives wholly for the body and is dominated by it. Physical cravings, being part of the mentality, are of course carried over to the next plane. But there, there is no physical body through which these appetites may be satisfied, and so the victim is tormented by desire, but unable to satisfy it, until, in the course of time, these desires fade out by starvation. This is the natural punishment for allowing the physical body to assume control, and surely, it is punishment enough. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Second Corinthians 5 verse 1 Have a wonderful day.